um hey y'all hey y'all so hold up let me um my room is a mess so i don't even want to show y'all but so all right y'all look what's up my room is a mess like i got stuff like you can't even see like i have a bucket right there full of clothes and dirty clothes right here you can see nail polish and stuff right there but Y'all know I really don't care. This is just where I'm be. This is how I am. Da da da. But um, so let me tell y'all what's going on tonight. So me and my friend Shamara decided to do. Well, she's actually like a part of the organization, but um, I'm supporting them. So basically, it's like a night out thing where we, the students from the school or professors, um. Take the time out and and try to basically put our feet in, you know, homeless people's shoes. So, to elaborate, I'm going to be homeless for about 12 hours. And um, basically, we had to get people to donate to our fund. And we had to um, ask people to donate. And then with that money, that's the way that we'll be able to have belongings and um, any other necessary equipment or things that we need. So, give an example. Um, say if I came there with a hat, um, gloves, scarf, um, I had to give money to purchase those things. Basically, you're buying your own items, but you're giving the money to the organization. And that money goes towards, like, um, the homeless people and... Um, food and things like that so i donated well i didn't donate what people donated me money and um i raised about a hundred bucks well i raised a hundred bucks and that i reached the max which means that i can come in there with you know everything that i want pretty much um even like a cell phone is 35 dollars so <laughs> it's kind of crazy a tent is about um, I want to say like 20 something dollars, um, hat $2, gloves $2. They give you hot chocolate and soup. Um, so basically from 7 p.m. tonight, we're going to be outside until 7 o'clock in the morning. And thank God right now it's not that cold. It's like really warm out. But it is supposed to rain. Of course, at night the temperature drops. So I am kind of nervous about that. Um... I'm not sure if I'm going to bring my phone because, like, a lot of homeless people don't have cell phones. So, if I really want to do this and also, like, really feel like or... Because I really don't know how it feels to be homeless. But this is an opportunity for me to actually get the perspective of a homeless person. So, if I bring my phone, that's kind of, like, uh, like cheating a little bit or whatever. Because I'm going to do the experience. I'm going to do it to my, you know, the full, the full potential of it. So... Um, I don't have no clue what I'm going to wear yet. Um, if we bring a coat, that's money. Um, if you, like I said, bring a hat, that's money. Gloves, that's money. So, I just want to be prepared. Um, I do have all of those things except for a hat. Sorry. Ooh. Except for a hat, but, um, yeah, make sure I have a hoodie on, a coat on, gloves, socks like double up on socks like you know shoes and all of that stuff so um that's the plan it starts at 7 p.m right now it is only 1 35 so i have time i had to go to work at three but my friend shamara was going to take me to this pet place so that i'll be able to mess with dogs and stuff because i kind of miss my dog back at home so i'm going to go there and yeah today has just been you know, kind of chilled. I had to do a speech for my public speaking class. You guys don't even know exactly what I'm taking. So, here's the rundown. I have, um, I'm taking general chem. I'm taking, um, microbiology. Um, I'm taking Spanish, public speaking, and child development. So, those are the classes that I am taking right now. Um, I'm feeling good about all of them except for two. <laughs> my chemistry class is kicking my butt and my psychology class is kicking my butt. Um, so that's what I kind of been battling with this semester. Trying to get those grades up is hard, a lot of information, but I'm using all the sources that I have, like going to tutoring and 
um, uh, you know, meeting up with my classmates so that, you know, we can all be on the same page. Um, and, you know, they can spread some knowledge to me. Um, this whole entire semester, I've been going through, like, discouragement. I don't know if that's a word, but I'd be getting discouraged a lot because, like, I can be sitting in the class and I feel as though everybody knows everything but me. And um, I don't know if you guys are in college or just in school, period, and you feel that way. Like, sometimes I just feel as though, like, um, I don't know nothing and how come they know everything, you know? Um, is, am I retarded? Like, not retarded. You know what I'm saying? Am I have a learning disability like what is it because like a lot of things just don't click with me and it and i'm not saying that it will never but it takes time but when it, in college you don't have time to like it, it you don't have time to allow it to settle in if you're a learner just like me you know because like you always moving on to another subject and then that adds on top of the things that you don't know so how can you be able to move forward if you don't even know the material that will allow you to move forward and i battle with that especially in chemistry so um you know i don't know it's get it has to get better it has no choice but to get better so that's that um i'm also joined a new uh well i joined a campus a campus i joined a organization here on campus um called the good girl movement and i don't know if you guys heard about it before or whatever but um, if you haven't, it's coming near you, trust and believe. It's a very powerful, powerful organization, and I'm blessed to be able to not also be in it, but be an ambassador of it. So I am a co-chair of the Good Girl Movement organization, and um, I'm going to put the link down below, so go check that out. But anyway, um, yeah, so that's been going great. We've been having meetings, we've been doing community service, um, bonding events, all of that good stuff. Go check us out on our Instagram. Please go check us out. Um, and, uh, yeah, and that's about it. I've been busy with that. So, meetings after meetings and, um, you know, events after events. So, just trying to get things on the ball here. Um, that's pretty much it, you guys. Like, you know, it's just been a long semester for me and a lot of times I feel like I want to quit and a lot of times I feel like I can do it but like the quitting overrides that I can do it so um I just been you know battling with that a lot but it's going to get better though it is going to get better and I'm not like stressed or depressed um I feel like I am but I'm not I know I'm not um it's just you know you just when you get discouraged and you you really feel as though nothing you're doing gets working. You get those grades back. You're just like, yo, like, I'm over it. Like, I'm done. Like, I don't want to, you know, disappoint myself again, you know. So, um, like I said, if you're a college student or just even in high school, middle school, elementary school, whoever's watching my channel, ladies, gentlemen, like, you know, it's okay to get those feelings, but you just always have to get back up and push yourself because can't nobody else push you like you can push yourself. I mean... Nah, I can say it over then I can't because sometimes you do need that extra push. You do need somebody to tell you that you can do it, but you have to want it for yourself. Let's say that. You have to want it for yourself. And, you know, um, yeah, so that's about it. I just wanted to let you guys know that. Um, just chat a little bit. Um, I'm looking a little crazy. My hair haven't been done. Like, I want my hair done. I can't get my hair done. Like, y'all, it's, it's rough. Like, I'm really a college student. Like, you guys don't know, I am a 24 years old. I've been in college since 2011. I got my associates in general, uh, general studies. Um, then I transferred here to Shenandoah University, spring 2017. So this is my second semester here at SU. I'm loving it. I'm enjoying it. I'm getting involved. I'm working. I also work. Um, so, you know, I'm just doing my thing here. And um, I, I, and I hope that what if it is somebody watching my channel who is 24, who has been in college for a long time. Guys, like, I understand. Like, sometimes we do want to quit. Like, I want to quit. I'm tired of it. Like, I'm over it. I just want to start my life, you know. But it'd be, it'd be people that's 60 years old still in college. And there's nothing wrong with that, you know. So, I can't 
we can't always compare what other people are doing because then it will slow us down to make us question, you know, our potential and question like, you know, do we really want our education? And if you did not want your education, you would not be where you are today. So just keep going, keep pushing. And um, I love you guys so much. If you are in school, y'all can do this. Like the, the school year is almost over. Um, the semester is almost over. Um, you know, just, just preparing for the future. Like, we have goals. Let's set some goals. Let's set, you know, long-term, short-term goals. Let's do this. We can do it. We in the nation. Like, I love y'all. I miss y'all. And, um, yeah. Peace, love, and happiness, and good vibes only. God bless you guys. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Everyone needs grace Your love is enough